Welcome to my educative channel. I'm Dr. Ricardo Hustra, plastic surgeon, Buenos Aires, Argentina. I'm specialized in periorbital rejuvenation. Plus me, eyebrow, upper eyelid, and lower eyelid, and malar area. Today I'm going to talk about a diff difficult uh, subject that is blepharoplasty and periorbital rejuvenation in men. This patient came to my office because he has a shortening of the vis visual field. And this uh, incapacity of view well are increased during the night and with the patient drink something alcoholic or when he's tired and what happened in this patient is that the eyebrow uh, this patient have eyebrow tosses all this is the upper eyelid skin and the eyebrow skin that are all this skin are over the eyelid lashes and this this toxis, the eyebrow toxis, and this excess of the upper eyelid skin diminish the view field. Here we can see the pupil that we almost can see. Here the patient have a furrows in the forehead because the frontalis muscle are working a lot to maintain the eyebrow up. If I, at this patient, I put Botox here, toxin botulin, the eyebrow is going down and the patient are not able to see. Generally, this patient have headache because all the effort of the frontalis muscles increase the headache. The first subject for this patient is the visual. The second is improving the aesthetic. Here we can see this thick skin belong to the eyebrow. This patient went to many, many doctors and always suggest, suggest him to resect the skin of the eyebrow. If I resect the skin of the eyebrow, I'm going to pull in down more the eyebrow and I'm going to increase the tiredness, sadness, we can see the pupil, all, almost the skin of the eyebrow is over the pupil, over the eyelid lashes and cover the pupil. Also this patient have flaccidity in the lower eyelid. Most of center propose this patient an incision here to resect this skin, but if they do this, the rest of the skin of the lower eyelid will be with wrinkle. In the three quarter view, we can see the thick skin of the eyebrow over the eyelid lashes with a tired, sad look. When the patient closed the, the eyes, this little skin here belongs to the eyelid. And this thickness and the change of the color of this skin belong to the eyebrow. This is the eyebrow hair and this is the eyebrow skin. All the eyebrow skin going down over the eyelid lashes. The procedure that I suggest to this patient is a small incision in the central area and one in the temporal, very, very little, just one centimeter. 
and and pulling down from endoscopic brow leaf a reposition of the eyebrow the skin of the upper and lower eyelid will be tightening with carbon dioxide laser the upper eyelid fat pads are removed through stab incision here the lower eyelid fat pads were removed from a transcanceter incision nor the upper eyelid skin neither the, the transcanceter incision are sutures I'm not going to leave any scar to this patient here we can see the small incision, no incision here I use this carbon dioxide laser to tighten in the skin it's a fire excel laser very deep to contract the skin this is the patient 6 days or less 4 days after the procedure we can see the scraps and we can see just an open eye four days one year this patient have a look of a man I know fe feminalize the expression of the view but this patient I increase the view the preoperative represent a tired sad look here is a fresh fresh nice beauty view without any stigmas we have no scar here no scar here no scar here but doctor, this patient also have wrinkle after the procedure. Yes, the patient have wrinkle. The patient decide if I going to remove all the wrinkles or just some of wrinkles. This is sound strange, but it's true. If this patient, this patient live from his activity is equitation horse riding spend all the time in the sun and if I perform a strong carbon dioxide laser the time of recovery of this patient is a long lasting the patient asks me less result but faster, quicker recovery. This patient, seven days after the procedure, was in the horse and giving classes, horse classes. It's horse jumping. It's professor of horse jumping. Okay. We can see the change of the expression. If we trace a, a line through the pupil, we can measure the degree of the retraction of the skin, the reposition of the eyebrow, and this line represents the contraction of the skin. If one year after the procedure, the patient want to improve more this little flaccidity, is very very simple. A little local anesthesia, the, a new carbon dioxide laser, and the result is going excellency. You can see a lot of furrow, a lot of flaccidity, and here the degree of contraction. This is a little of hyperpigmentation due to the patient is all the time if in the sun this hyperpigmentation can result easily with the NDIAC 
uh, laser and this is the lateral view mm -hmm. how increase mm -hmm. and this is when 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 we speak we have gesture and uh, this patient when we speak the eyebrow go higher now it's a forcing no but uh, here we can see the beauty of the eyes and here we cannot see the eyes here we can see the contraction of the skin and here we have no scars from here to here is the upper eyelid skin from here to here is the eyebrow skin all this is eyebrow skin that was contracted through the action of carbon dioxide laser and this is the result nice beauty youthful the patient look very well see very well and he is very happy because this is the result that he looking for natural result like many men looking for many men don't operate the eyelid of the eyebrow because they are afraid of the unnatural result they are afraid of the the stigma scars or another can see the scars of the upper eyelid the lower eyelid and also the frontal area I always told that this procedure have no cost have no cost at all because this procedure have no not scar stigma okay I hope you enjoyed this procedure I'm in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, you can contact me through my assistants and we can have a video conference to I can assessor you what do you need. First to the video conference you must to send me pictures your desire of improvement. Have a nice day. I wait for you in Buenos Aires, Argentina.